guys welcome back to our channel i know it's a lot going on here guys but today we are going to talk about something that has actually been pretty highly requested we're gonna talk about all things breastfeeding related pumping related storing breast milk related just literally any and all of it we're gonna get into all the details the ins and outs before i get started though i do want to give a little disclosure i am by no means a lactation consultant i am not a professional guys so everything that I'm sharing is literally just going to be things that I have learned in trial and error being on my third kid now and doing some type of breast milk for all three of them but yeah so moms moms to be moms who are struggling with this moms who have had a rough time with it and kind of have thrown in the towel but are maybe wanting to give it another try with another kid moving forward I hope that nonetheless I am able to give you some type of encouragement some type of information and again guys this is just what works for me for my breast milk I use what's called the pitcher method which is I literally pump so much milk guys that it's just easier for me to buy these 64 ounce pitchers and store all of my breast milk in this now mind you the 64 ounces goes up to this line right here and as you guys can see they're full to the top so my friends and family have this ongoing running joke where they call me Moo Moo. I'm kind of sort of a cow, guys. I produce a lot of milk. I do want to say, please, 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 in seeing this, do not be discouraged. This is not necessarily considered normal. I actually don't even consider myself to be an overproducer or an oversupplier. I know, funny, right, with all this milk sitting here. And mind you, this is from Five Days Collection, guys. This and all these bottles are Five Days Collection. I just had to buy a third deep freezer, guys. My baby nurses exclusively so he's on the boob every three hours he gets a bottle rarely like if i have to leave the house for an extended period of time or if i leave to go to a game or something he'll obviously get a bottle but for the most part braxton is on the boob so this is just milk that is just getting saved and put in my deep freezer stash for when i decide to no longer nurse that way he can still get all the benefits of having my breast milk these are my breast milk storage bags i use the medela ones and because usually when I bag milk, which I do every five days, I have a lot to bag. So I usually like to go ahead and write out his name and the date and the ounces above. I store in five ounce bags, even though it goes up to six and you really can fill it even all the way up if you want to. The reason that I choose to do the five ounces is because I like to squeeze all of the air out of my bags once I put the milk in before I seal them. That way the bags can lay completely flat and I will show you guys what I'm talking about as I do it. Guys, I'm overwhelmed. There's so much milk to bag, but hey, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. So before we get started though, make sure you guys do everything. Subscribe so you don't miss another video from us make sure to give this video a thumbs up guys any questions you have feel free to ask below I try 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 my best to go back through and answer questions and respond to people I'm human I have a life I have three kids to take care of so I am busy I don't always get back to everyone but I promise you I read all of the comments and I appreciate your guys' support so I start by shaking the bottles very well because you will get like what's called fat plugs on top which is where the milk separates and the fattiest part of it just sits on top and you want to make sure to shake that up to get all the nutrients back into the milk for the baby so I literally as you see I'm splitting it between two different bottles it doesn't really matter where it goes it's all going to the same place in the end I don't even think all these are gonna fit in here guys another reason I like the pitcher method is because since I'm on my third child I don't always do everything by the book per se so sometimes I might eat foods that you know would cause the baby to be a little gassier. That's one of the benefits in doing the pitcher method because it's kind of mixing all my milk and all the meals together. So say if I did eat broccoli or cauliflower, or, you know, one of the culprits that tends to leave our little ones gassy, at least it's being kind of diluted in a sense when it's being mixed in with all this other milk and all the other things that I've eaten and drank. I also did do a story on my Instagram at Kamaya Adams, if you're not following, make sure to follow asking you know advice you guys would like or stuff that you guys wanted answered so in a little bit I will be going through some of those questions and answering them on here looks like we have bottomed out on the pictures so I need to start bagging some milk that way we can have more space there's milk everywhere <laughs> the way I like to bag my milk so I have developed a little system and it's 
that's just what works for me. Breastfeeding is a lot of work. It's literally another job I tell my husband all the time. It wasn't until he really saw me out here doing this on a consistent basis that he realized, wow, this really is like having another job. I will get the pitcher, shake it up really good again, and then I take all of my bottles and I fill them to five ounces. And I will set them in rows of five. So it'll per se be 25 ounces per row. And I sit here and I do all of the bottles until they're done. And then after they're all done is when I'll begin to bag. So here we go, it smells so good. All right, so I am at my capacity. As you guys can see, I have used all the bottles that I have and I am ready to start putting them into the bags now. So we have 25, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175 ounces of breast milk right here, guys. And I still have three of my large pitchers full. From here is where I would just bag them. I already wrote Braxton's name on them and then the dates, obviously. I don't know the specific date that this was pumped, but I know it was in the last four days because I bag milk every five days. So I just go now, I open this up, I pour the five ounces of milk into it and make sure the bottom's all the way open. I seal part way and then I squeeze all of the air out. That way when I go to lay my bags down, they can lay completely flat. I have my little Tupperware down here, so I'm gonna bag some milk. You see how much milk I got? Damn, Kamaya. Go look in them deep freezers over there. What? Them two white ones over there? I gotta do a third deep freezer. This is just from five days. All right guys, so I finished the first 175 ounces. So now I'm gonna go back in for round two. We're in the home stretch. We are getting down to the thick of it. I need a little water break my dang self. Which actually guys, that's one of my main, 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 main things that I was going to tell you guys. The most important key to being able to produce a lot of milk and keep up with your supply is staying hydrated. Lots and lots of water, lots and lots of fluids. I mean, obviously you don't wanna get too much sugar because anything that you consume, your baby's gonna consume as well through the milk. I'm drinking one of these Lemon Perfect waters, no sugar, they're bomb, five calories. They have a bunch of different flavors. This is the peach raspberry. Shout out Drew Hanlon, you put me onto these. They're the bomb, I literally have almost every flavor, but they're so good. So we got 200, 225, 250, 275, 300, 325, 350 ounces, guys, in five days collection, and I'm not even done yet. So I think we're probably gonna be at like about, my guess is gonna be, I'm gonna say 420. So let me get back to bagging here. <sighs> We are in the home stretch. While I'm sitting here waiting on my nanny to gather the rest of the milk, we can go over some of the things that have helped me be successful with maintaining a good supply and just being able to really produce this much milk. So there are some supplements that I take and I do wanna go over them. So first and foremost, called Baby and Me Multivitamin. I will post all of these in the description with links as well so you guys are able to get them. This is actually my prenatal vitamin that I've been taking since I found out I was pregnant and I continued taking it even after I had the baby for multiple reasons. One, because I still want all the nutrients and the vitamins and the benefits that you get from prenatal vitamins. It helps with your hair growth. It helps with postpartum hair loss. So this is now a postnatal vitamin that has probiotics and helps with lactation as well. It's from Mommy's Bliss. So I take this as well daily. This is something that is specifically for milk. It's called New Milk. And one of my friends actually put me onto this. Guys, none of this is paid promo or any of that. This is literally real, raw, just the things that work for me, the things that I do. I don't have any relationships with any of these companies. Take my Moo Milks. I take fish oil supplements every single day as well. And I actually have one more that I take daily that I actually forgot to bring out here, but it's by Orthobiotic and it's just the pre and probiotic mixed in one and all of that comes together and helps me out. Nunu saved the day with the meal. This is from my morning pump, guys. So let me go ahead and add in my morning pump here. We actually might get to that 420 mark that I thought we would get to initially. Ah! So much milk. We made it. We have officially uh, measured out and bagged 
Drum roll, please. 450 ounces of freaking breast milk, you guys, from Five Days Collection. This is ridiculous. But this is my life, guys, and I'm here to help in any way possible. So once I am all done with bagging my milk, it is time for me to put it into the deep freezer. And the reason I put it in the deep freezer is because breast milk has different life spans. Breast milk can sit out at room temperature after being pumped for four hours, four, five max, before it is no longer good. Breast milk can be in the refrigerator for seven days, six to seven days before it is no longer good. It can be in the freezer, the regular freezer, like in your house, in your refrigerator, up to six months, but it can be in a deep, freezer, which I'm going to show you guys what that looks like for up to 12 months. Yes, for up to a year. So that is why I put all of my breast milk in a deep freezer. So let's head on over to the deep freezer so I can put this milk away so it is good to go and I don't have to worry about it because we got a lot of precious cargo right here, guys. Breast milk is referred to as liquid gold. That's literally what it is. So I'm gonna get my liquid gold into its safe haven. That way I don't have to worry about it spoiling or anything going bad. And then we are gonna sit here and get down to the nitty gritty of it all. So one of my secrets to storing the milk is I like to keep all of the bags flat and going the same way. It just makes it so much easier to store. So you'll see here how some are already pointing this way and some are pointing this way. So I finished off on this row last. So I'm starting here and you see I'm just laying them opposite. That way the ends, the bottoms can get a little bulkier just to make sure that they lay as flat as possible. All right, my deep freezers, guys. Yes, I have two. So this one right here has, drum roll, 2,500 ounces of breast milk, and it also even still has some of my colostrum from when I first had the baby. Um, if you're a mom, you're familiar with what colostrum is. If not, colostrum is the milk that you first produce when you first, first have the baby. It usually only lasts for about two or three days, but it's this really orangish, yellowish color. I mean, this really just has all the, nutri all the nutrients in it. So I actually keep my colostrum in these tubes and some of these bags, as you can see, I busted it open, had to use some of it already because I save my colostrum for if the kids get sick, if the baby gets sick, just because it literally is the most nutrient rich milk out of all your milk. So a couple other things that help me to keep my supply up and just make sure that I'm producing not only enough milk, but quality milk are Staying hydrated. This is a gallon water jug from my company, XO by Kamaya. If you guys haven't checked it out, make sure to check it out. We got some amazing things on there, guys. But I literally drink a gallon of water a day, sometimes more than that. But the key to, for me, for producing a lot of milk, and I think for anyone actually, is to stay hydrated. Because when you're pumping, you're getting rid of so much in your body. It's just so important to make sure you're staying hydrated because that's how you're gonna keep up your supply. And then I'm not really a big sweets person as is, but for some reason when I I am breastfeeding, I crave sweets. So I actually found these lactation cookies at Target. You can get them on Amazon too. They're called Milk Makers, but they're lactation cookie bites. So when I am, you know, going through one of my cravings and I'm wanting something sweet, I'll actually eat something not only sweet, but beneficial as well. So I'm not feeling guilty about my, you know, my sugar cravings. Another thing that definitely helps with maintaining your supply and even upping your supply is making sure that you're pumping or nursing on a regular basis. So like I said, Braxton is a nursed baby, so he is on the boob. He gets bottles on occasion, but it's not often. He's definitely on the boob way more than he is on the nipple bottle. But another thing is just making sure that you are pumping every three hours. Literally, the thing you have to do to maintain your supply is stay consistent. So making sure that you are pumping or nursing every three hours. Something that I do is after Braxton nurses, when he's finished nursing, I hook right up to my pump and I pump, pump, pump. Sometimes I'll pump for 10 minutes. Sometimes I'll just pump until the bottles are full. It'll really be kind of trial and error in the beginning, figuring out your body and figuring out what works for you best, but just making sure you stay on a consistent pump schedule. Every three hours, day or night, it doesn't matter. There has been some times where my milk supply has gotten so low, not with Braxton, but with my first two. I was like, I don't know what to do. So my mom recommended that I drink a beer. I know. People hear alcohol and hear breast milk and just completely disassociate the two and think that it's the worst thing. 
Now I'm not saying I'm sitting here turning a bottle of beer upside down while I have my baby on my boob, guys. What I'll do is, if my supply is low and I'm noticing that it's not getting back up to where I need it to be at, I will pump or nurse the baby before we go to bed where I know he's gonna be asleep three to four hours and I don't have to worry about giving him any milk that's been tainted with alcohol. Once I do that, I will literally chug a beer, a Corona, a Blue Moon, it doesn't matter what kind it is. But something about the yeast that is in beer helps with milk production, guys. Cause I would drink that beer and I would wake up in the morning and my boobs would be so full and they would hurt so bad that I'm like, I need to get out. I'm running from kids, y'all. I'm running from kids, y'all. He found me. <laughs> Mommy's talking to her YouTube channel. I'm talking about, oh, you silly butt. How does mommy feed Braxton? Um, drink his bottle. Yeah, and where does the milk come from? Your boobie. <laughs> they think it's the funniest thing. So I did want to share with you guys the pumps that I use. So my pump that I use on the go, I'll take it with me in the car or wherever I need to go, is this. The Medela Swing Maxi, it's small. It's easy to throw in my bag. You know, it doesn't require a lot. Has a decent sized battery. And then I have a second pump that I also use. And this one stays in my room. It never leaves. It sits on my mom cart. And it is one of like the top, top, top breast pumps there is. Um, it is a little bit pricey, but on my third go round and just how much money I've spent renting pumps and just how seriously I take breastfeeding, I'm like, it's time for me to invest in this pump. So I bought one myself. It is the Medela Symphony. This is the pump, guys. Like I said, it sits on my mom cart. I leave it here so I can pump next to my bed. I don't have to go anywhere. You guys, I promise the video on my mom cart is coming very soon here. Another thing that has also really helped me with my milk supply, and I'm almost out of them, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I can't get more, is taking my placenta pills. These are from Mommy Made Encapsulation. If you guys haven't seen that YouTube video already on the process of placenta encapsulation, make sure you guys check it out because it is super cool. Definitely so many health benefits to ingesting and taking your placenta postpartum. Highly, highly recommend it. Mommy Made Encapsulation is the absolute best, you guys. My experience from start to finish was truly amazing. I wanted to get to all the Q&A questions from Instagram but this video is already a bit long guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this two parts. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the information and tips that I have shared with you guys thus far. Oh, nursing bras, you guys, because it matters. Pumping, nursing, whatever it is you do, there's a bra for it all and I just want you guys to know, do not feel guilty buying a bunch because it makes a difference and it makes your experience so much different. I literally have an entire drawer of nursing bras. Like Victoria's Secret makes nursing bras now. So I can wear like a cute bra when I go out. I have these ones for when I'm just nursing daily. These, let's see, where's a pump bra? Here's a pump bra. You see they look a little different because there's actually slots for you to put your pump in so you can walk around and pump hands-free as well. These are the ones that I like to sleep in at night because they don't have any wire or anything. Just boop, pop the titty out, pop the baby on, put it away. I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so you can join our family if you haven't already joined us on here, guys. Any questions you have, feel free to leave them below. The next video will be the part two to this. It'll be the Q&A where I let you guys ask me questions and I answer them to the best of my ability. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Moms, we got this. We are freaking superheroes. Do not give up. I believe in you. I'm here to help in any way that I can. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.